I'm pretty sure this week on Doctor Who we're gonna have zombies. So I love zombies. This should be should be should be fun. Let's go. Welcome to the channel. My name is Chris. Today we're watching an episode of Doctor Who entitled The Unquiet Dead. Is that just a different way of saying the living dead? Dun dun dun. I'm very curious to see what this episode brings to the table. Last week we kind of got to explore or learn a little bit about the Time Lord and how he's the last of his kind because of this epic war that happened or, or took place. I'm curious if we'll learn more about the Doctor or Rose this week. I've enjoyed the way they've kind of woven in their personal lives and their stories into the episodes, and I'm very excited to continue the show. So let's not waste any time. Let's experience the Unquiet Dead for the very first time right now. She was so full of life. I can't believe she's gone. I should be in the next uh, room, should you require. Yes, let him mourn in peace. I'm sure peace is what he's going to experience. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Wait, he knows. He knew this was a possibility? We've got another one! So, wait, this has been happening? And you left him alone in there? Oh. Yeah, I would say that was unquiet. That Yeah, that's this episode is aptly titled. I love that little scream. And I, I really appreciate and love how, excuse me, how they had the sound overlay and transition into the opening credits. Da, da. Welcome to Doctor Who. Hold that one down. I'm holding this one down. We're holding oh, down. no. Wait, is the TARDIS allowed to have mechanical problems? What happened to 1860? I don't know. Let's find out. Hold on. Here we go. Man, it feels like the TARDIS is barely staying within the time stream there. Is that the best way to describe that? The time stream? The stiffs are getting lively again. We've got to find her. Mr. Sneed, for shame, how many more times? It's ungodly. Don't look at me like it's my fault. He's surprisingly cool with it, though. <laughs> It really did feel like it belongs there as it appeared. It's December 24th, 1860. <laughs> it's Christmas. <gasps> yeah, I didn't even think about it when he said the date. I love Christmas. You can go back and see days that are dead and gone, a hundred thousand sunsets. Ago. Is she in love with him? Not a bad life. Better with two. <laughs> Use the sight. The sight, is she right, sir. a psychic? She's also a God-fearing woman who doesn't believe she should use this gift she has. Before she passed on, she was going to see him. Hmm. Who's him? The great man. Mr. Dickens, Mr. Dickens. Charles Dickens, Dickens. Charles Dickens. 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 yes? Or a different Dickens. The same old show. I'm like a ghost. Condemned to repeat myself. You can always think up some new turns. Even my imagination grows stale. I wonder what this episode is going to spark him to write something, right? Maybe a Christmas carol? Because it's taking place at Christmas? There's undead things? You look beautiful. Considering? Considering, Considering what? what? Yeah. You're human. Ah! He prefers the tree people, I guess. History. How it happened that Scrooge. Oh, he's already written a Christmas carol. That makes sense. He's here to perform it. Marley's face. I'm looking look. for her. Ah! Oh, they cut away. It looked like. Yeah, wow, she's blue. Look, like that. You're telling me nobody noticed until he pointed it out? Time to run. Is this a ghost emanating from her being? And she's done. Did you see where it came it's like it wasn't really a zombie. So much as she was, what, possessed? Oi! This poor lady's been taken with a brain fever and we have to get her to the infirmary. Brain fever. <laughs> oh, Rose. Oh, hey, hey, hey! What kind of funeral home director are you? That doesn't mean you get to direct who lives and who dies. Yo, it's like it's leaving. It's going... Gas. gas. It's like it's going through a dimensional hole. It's made of gas. Follow that hearse! Wait, can't do that, sir! Why not? Why 
not. I'll give you a very good reason why not. Because this is my coach. Well, well you can come with in. us. Yeah. Speed, Charles Dickens. Somebody move the gentleman, sir. Charles Dickens, you're brilliant, you are. Oh, no, he can stay. I'm flattered. Uh, no, I think he can stay. <laughs> Honestly, Charles, uh, can I call you Charles? I'm such a big fan. Uh, 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 what? Fanatic. What are we going to do with her? I don't know. Is it my fault if the dead won't stay dead? Why is this happening to us? Hey, 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 hey. Fire, you stay. Is something supernatural messing with the fire in her room? I... Wow, no. I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Dickens, but the master's indisposed. What the heck is happening? with your gas. Shakespeare is going on. What the Shakespeare is going on? There's something inside the walls. Is this place possessed? Uh-oh. This is my dance. Nice. It's a prank. Must be. What do you want? Failing. Open the rift. We're dying. Help us. Maybe it's not ghosts. Maybe there's someone that also has psychic powers or psychic abilities that's living in there that's like dying? Morbid fancy. Oh, Charles, you were there. I saw nothing but an hey, illusion. The mind will sometimes reject what it does not understand. What's the rift? A weak point in time and space, a connection between this place and another. That's the cause of ghost stories most of the time. So he needs to figure out where the time and place is and go there and help whoever needs help. What are you trying to do here, Charles? There must be some mechanism behind this fraud. You saw those gas creatures. I cannot accept that. And what does the human body do when it decomposes? It breaks down, produces gas. Perfect home for these gas things. Can it be that I have the world entirely wrong? Not wrong. Mm. There's just more to learn. I hoped that I was a force for good. Now you tell me that the real world is a realm of specters and jack-o'-lanterns. I don't think he said the words jack-o'-lantern. Maybe stop lighting the flames. Like, turn off the gas. There is one lad. Butcher's boy. He comes by every Tuesday. Oh. Ask him out. Ooh, give him a cup of tea or something. That's a start. You talk like some sort of wild thing. She's from a different time. You need a bit more in your life than Mr. Sneed. He's not so bad, old Sneed. He was very kind to me to take me in. Because I lost my mum and dad to the flu when I was 12. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'll be with him again one day. Maybe your dad's up there waiting for you too, miss. Who told you he was dead? Oh, oh, I was just thinking, like, I don't think she said anything about that. Her psychic is showing. You're from London. And the noise. And the metal boxes racing past. <laughs> the cars? You can't say her abilities aren't authentic. My mom said I had the sight. She told me to hide it. But it's getting stronger. More powerful, is that right? You grew up on top of the rift. You're part of it. Oh. You're the key. I've tried to make sense of it, sir. We're going to have a seance. Fascinating. Nothing but luminous tambourines and a squeeze. Luminous tambourines and a squeed box. <laughs> Don't antagonize her. I love a happy medium. I can't believe you just said that. Speak to us that we may relieve your burden. So are we talking like demonic spirits here? Or are we talking kind of what he described? Just something from another time in another space? Maybe moving through a similar time tunnel to what he moves through. What the heck? Hi, friends. Are you friends? Spirits from the other side. Or are they evil? The other side of the universe. Oh. Take the girl to the rift. Make the bridge. We are so very few. The last of our kind. Why? What happened? The time war. <laughs> the whole universe convulsed. Our bodies wasted away. We need a physical form, and your dead are abandoned. Wow. They go to waste. Give them to us. That's so strange. I mean, it's not... Not decent, not polite. It could save their lives. Open the rift. Oh, I feel conflicted and confused. I want to save their lives, but isn't there another way? Something, some other form they can take? They need me. You're their only chance of survival. I've told you, leave her alone. She's exhausted, and she's not fighting your battles. What are they? Aliens. <laughs> Living on the rift, she's become part of it. She can open it up, make a bridge, and let them through. Incredible. Ghosts that are not ghosts. Yes. But beings from another world. I love that, honestly. Inhabiting 
cadavers. Good system. It might work. Him and Rose are not on the same page. There's just wrong. Those bodies were living people. We should respect them, even in death. It is different. Yeah, it's a different morality. Get used to it or go home. Wow. I can't worry about a few corpses when the last of the Gelf could be dying. I don't care. They're not using them. The angels need me. Hmm. Doctor, what do I have to do? I know for a fact that corpses weren't walking around in 1869. Time's in flux, changing every second. Your cozy little world can be rewritten like that. I don't know if that's good or not. Don't know that it's bad or not, either. Promise you won't hurt her. Hurry, please, so a little time. Do we trust them? You don't have to do this. My angels, establish the bridge. Are they angels? I don't know. I don't, I'm getting... Come to me. I think Gwyneth is going to die. The bridge is made. She has given herself to the gap. We descend. Uh-oh, see? That's scary as heck. You said that you were few in number. Deceiver's gonna lie. Stop gobbling, child, and leave these things alone. Mrs. Higginbottom! Ah, uh, this isn't great. This is not great. Oh, no! They killed him! We need bodies, all of you. Dead, the human race. Yeah, they're wanting to kill all of us and take our place. I trusted you. I pitied you. We don't want your pity. We want this world and all its flesh. Not while I'm alive. Oh, heck no. I'm so petty. I'm going to travel. I'm going to find you in time and space and I'm going to finish you off. I'm just about to be the time warlord. I haven't even been born yet. It's impossible for me to die. <laughs> uh, nice try, but no, definitely you could die. Yes, turn off the gas. Or turn it up to max. I'm not sure which one he's doing. Together? Yeah. I'm so glad I met you. Aw. Me too. Up the gas! Oh, that guy. I love that guy at the front. He's he's the best. Ah. This theory will be validated. Me too, dude. Liars. Oh, I feel bad for her. If your mother and father could look down and see this, they'd tell you the same. They're too strong. Oh. Remember that world you saw? None of it will exist. Can't send you them back. You have to. But I can hold them. Oh no. She's gonna make the sacrifice play. And she'll never get with the butcher's boy. This whole place is gonna go up in flames. I think that's the unavoidable conclusion. I'm sorry. Same. Oh, so sweet. Oh. She didn't make it. No. I'm sorry. Gwyneth was already oh, dead. She had been for at least five minutes. What do you mean? I think she was dead from the minute she stood in the arch. She spoke to us. There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Even hmm. for you, Doctor. She saved the world. No one will ever know. No one will ever know. Well, we know. Let's just assume this happened, and let's honor her today. This morning I thought I knew everything in the world. Now I know I've just started. All these huge, oh, I love that. wonderful... He has something to be curious about again, and it sparked fresh life. The mystery of Edwin Drood still lacks an ending. Perhaps the killer was not of this earth. You can Ooh. spread the word. Tell the truth. Good luck with it. Nice to meet you. Fantastic. <laughs> He was not prepared. In what way is this goodbye? Because they're going into Where a phone booth. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> uh, My books, do they last? Heck oh, yeah, they yes. do. Forever. Doesn't that change history if he writes about blue ghosts? In a week's time, it's 1870, and that's the year he dies. He'll never get to tell his story. Oh, no. Let's give him one last surprise. It may be seeing this is what kills him. I mean, hey. And they're off. Into another adventure. God bless us, everyone. everyone. <laughs> and we're out. We're out. What a great episode. Okay, so I went into this knowing, um, very, at least, or at least very strongly suspecting that it was a zombie episode. I did not stop to consider what a zombie episode might look like in the realm of Doctor Who. And yeah, I just was kind of like, it's going to be zombies. Great. 
the 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 undead. It was so much weirder than that. Better, bigger, different. I am intrigued by how they took these kind of supernatural elements of zombies, ghosts, demons, however you want to go with it, and connected it to science fiction, to the world of Doctor Who, to the world of time and space. And it's definitely intriguing that the ghosts were aliens from probably a different time, a different space, that were affected by the same time war that wiped out the Doctor's family. No, or, you know, his world, his homeworld. No wonder he was so quick to want to help them because he related. It's like, okay, I couldn't save my people, but I can save them. And so, yeah, he was quick to want to help them. And and I was with him in the sense that I wanted to save them. I, I'm not, I, I never fully got on board with letting them take over our dead. That's no, but I didn't have a better solution. I guess the question is, how come we needed to have a solution right now rather than taking time to figure it out? At any rate, Gwyneth stepped into the rift and I guess she died instantly. That's the one thing maybe I don't fully understand. She was still able to communicate with us. That's, I guess, maybe the supernatural element. Hopefully, maybe she was reunited with her family, with her parents in the end. What do you think? Uh, I'm just going to choose to believe that. <sighs> I mean, she certainly was brave at the end with her sacrifice. She lit the match. She literally was the key. And by all accounts, she saved humanity. We're here today because of Gwyneth's sacrifice in 1869. Shame Charles Dickens will never get to share with the world what he witnessed, but probably for the best, probably for the best, right? If all of this was just common knowledge, we wouldn't be able to enjoy the show like we're enjoying it now. Because in my mind, this happened. This is this this is history we're experiencing. Just a different type of history. So, great episode. There hasn't been a bad episode of Doctor Who yet, and I, I had a great time watching this. Next week is Aliens in London. I didn't watch the clips, so I'm very curious. I, I like going in as blind as possible. Uh, that's just kind of my preference. So, it just sounds like it'll be fun. I don't know. Maybe terrifying. But, yeah, I'm having a great time watching this show. Hopefully, you're having a great time watching with me. If you want to watch the full episodes with me, you can do so over on Patreon. Or if you don't want to wait for the next few episodes, you could do that on Patreon. But you could also do it right here on YouTube if you join uh, the channel as a channel member. So if you choose to support the channel by doing one of those things, great. Thank you. But the best way to support the channel is just to hang out here, watch these episodes, give this video a like, subscribe, share it with a friend. Here's the next episode. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.